Hello everyone, I'm Sammy Parker by Dadnet, and today we're going to be talking about cheating in games on your iOS device, iOS game hacking. So how does it work, how do you do it, what tools are there, what apps are there. This as you may be able to tell is not an iOS device, this is an Android emulator. But since there are no iOS emulators, yeah there are none, sadly because Apple is keeping that source code uh, to themselves, the rights to it at least. So. This will have to do it for demonstration purposes. However, we do have some of the same cheating apps, same game hacking apps that we have on iOS, on Android, and they work in much the same way, okay? Links for these apps as always in the description of this video. Now, an example for that is Game Guardian, all right? This is a memory editor, and that's gonna be the main category of game hacking apps that you're gonna be using to cheat in your games on iOS as well, okay? Now what a memory editor will allow you to do is it will allow you to scan for values in a game. Now, I'm just gonna show you this game right here. This is called Tiny Miner. It has the neat little money right here at the top right. Now that would be a value. Now, a value scanner such as Game Guardian or on iOS, it would be iGameGuardian, links in description would allow you to simply start up the app and scan for that value, okay? I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick now, thanks. And you have three of these value editors on iOS, but iGameGuardian is in my opinion the best. Game Jam would be another very good one. And then on third in third place, I think it was Game Player, okay? Which is I think the oldest one of them. But I highly recommend iGame Guardian and Game Gem for sure for iOS. Now let's just start Game Guardian right here. Now what Game Guardian allows you to do, obviously you get the, the floating symbol right here to allow you to access Game Guardian through or iGame Guardian through your game. So what you do here is you connect Game Guardian or iGame Guardian to your game, okay? Which allows you to then scan for values in that game. So you go for the scan symbol. You enter the, va the value in game that you want to change. In my case, that would be 300 gold. And then you go for a new search auto mode. Okay. Now, the app will scan for all the values that are at 300 at that point in your game. Which is a lot of values. Which is why we need to narrow down the selection by changing the value in game and then scanning again. So, to do that, I'm going to go into the shop buy some stuff, get it to 285, go back into Game Guardian or iGame Guardian in your case, but it works in exactly the same way. And then you enter the new value, in my case it would be 285, and we're going to refine the search. Now we're left with two values, that's enough, as long as you're below 10 values, you can change all of them, and then we just change that to 999999, and we're going to go with yes. Actually we're too high, let's take one 9 away. We're still too high, let's take another 9 away, and there we go, let's change that one to 9999 as well, yes, and whatever. Okay, let's have a look, and you, as you see, our money value is now changed to uh, 9999, and we can buy a lot of expensive stuff for Reno's, let's go for something more expensive. That's a thousand bucks, that's 500, and so, as you can see, we have changed our money value, that's how memory editors or value editors work, okay? And those are the most popular cheating apps on iOS. Now, as I've already said, link in description for these apps. There are three of them currently. There is iGame Guardian, there is Game Jam, and there is Game Player. Now the most the most popular of them I think is Game Jam, but in my opinion iGame Guardian is better because it is the most sophisticated one. It has the most options for power users. If you're not planning on getting too deep into it, go just go for Game Jam, it's better than that case. And then the second big thing is what we on Android call modded EPKs, on iOS it would be modded IPAs, okay? Now, those are modded game files, and here comes the big problem about hacking iOS games versus Android games. Android is open source, so that means it's very, very developer friendly. A lot of people are messing around with it because it's open source, you can use it for anything. A lot more developers and mostly new developers 
are more familiar with Android than iOS. Also, it comes with the option to install um, apps that are not on the on the uh, Play Store or App Store in, in in Apple's case by default. You can install anything essentially on Android device. With iOS, not quite so. So you need to first jailbreak your device in order to install unallowed apps. And just generally for nerds and programmers, Android is a lot more attractive, which is why there are a lot more mods, game mods, for Android. And that is really a huge factor here. Let me just um, show you guys. So we have our search engine on hackerbot.net. Just go, if you want to find game mods, go to hackerbot.net. Just Google hackerbot and then go to hackerbot.net because if you're using Google to try and find game mods for iOS it's gonna be really hard and go to find legitimate cheats and that will take you to our search engine hackerbot free finder now this will scan legitimate websites legitimate actual uh, game cheats developers and forums and so on for the cheats that you're looking for now problem here is if you're using Google you're gonna get scams fakes whatever it's going to be really hard to find those uh, these cheats right here this search engine will only give you hacks that actually exist they won't sound as awesome as the fake ones but they will work so <laughs> that's how that works now the problem here is if you look for an iOS mod for example for Clash of Clans which is a very popular game on both platforms so let's go over Clash of Clans uh, mod iOS you will find a lot less stuff, although there are mods here, than you would find for Android. So if you, if you were to go for Clash of Clans mod APK, you would find a lot more legitimate stuff because of what I've mentioned before, that a lot more developers will tend to program for Android over iOS, given the choice, all right? So that's just an aside. Uh, because the thing is, you need a PC to jailbreak your iOS device anyways. Like, you may as well install a Android emulator if you're really serious about cheating in a particular game. Because most popular mobile games will be on both platforms. They'll be on iOS and Android. So if you want to cheat, you may as well do it on Android the way I see it. Because there's so many more cheats. So many more. Like... I would say there's at least four times more cheats. For it's four times easier to find cheats for a particular game on Android than it is on iOS. Also on Android you have stuff like emulators which allow you to easily set up macros for example. Macros being bots that essentially allow you to automatically farm your Clash of Clans or Clash of Kings and whatever um, continuously so that you get more stuff over time. Now in this emulator, you can just record those, just two pushes of a button and there you go. And since you're going to have a PC or Mac anyways, if you're going to jailbreak your device, you may as well consider that. So that would be an inofficial kind of um, way of cheating in iOS games, is using an, emu an a Android emulator because there's, there are no iOS emulators, I'm sorry, there are none, uh, to play the same game but on a different platform kind of on a PC on an emulator which allows you to cheat so much more easily and risk free because when you're rooting your actual iOS device obviously you're running the risk of breaking it right you're running the risk of it getting infected security all these concerns right but when you have an emulator and that's why I really really hope that one day we might have iOS emulators when you have an emulator you can just do whatever like you can root it you can jailbreak it whatever and then if something goes wrong you just uninstall it reinstall it clean slate you can start again with your iPhone with your actual tablet or iPhone that's not quite that easy is it now all right if, if something's bricked you're out of three four hundred dollars and all your data and whatever which is incredibly annoying right so that is just a secret little trick if you if the, these cheats are not enough for you if like if um, game, iGameGuardian, Game Jam 
and game player or modded IPAs are not enough for you. Now all of these cheating apps will require a chill broken device. And that's not a thing about iOS devices, it's a lot easier to root an Android device, usually, not in all cases. There are Android devices that are very exotic, very hard to root, but in general it's easier to root an Android device than to chill break an iOS device, right? That is just sadly, uh, uh, it, uh, it, it depends on the device. Again, there are some that are very easy and there are some that are very rare, where you actually, especially the newer ones, where you actually have to like subscribe to some plan online that costs you like, I don't know, 20 bucks a month just to jailbreak your device, which is uh, incredibly annoying. But anyways, uh, that's just another thing. Like I'm not saying that Android is better than iOS. I'm not. I'm not. But I am saying is, objectively speaking, for cheating in games, for the particular thing of hacking games, cheating in games, Android is absolutely, without a doubt, without a singular doubt, the more, the better platform for cheating. Because there are simply more people developing cheats, okay? Now, and, and that just, that's, that's what you want. Like, you, if you want to cheat, you need to have, to have cheats for your particular game. And on Android, you have at least four times more cheats. You're four times more likely to find cheats than on iOS, okay? Uh, probably more than four times more. But that's just a guess. That's just giving iOS a lot of credit. Because developers love Android. They love it, okay? That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Then you also have Xmod games on iOS as well. Uh, essentially, let me just demonstrate that real quick. Xmod games is a patcher of sorts. Uh, do I have it installed? Oh, yeah, there it is. Xmod games. So it's a, it's a launcher slash patcher of sorts. It it requires a jailbreak, obviously, and it will allow you to just uh, patch certain games that you have already installed, right? Uh, it, and it will include mods into the game. Now, for this one, I don't have mods. As you can see here, it shows you the mods that w that it will patch into the game, and then you could just patch it and launch it, and it should be modded. It on Android, it doesn't work all the time. Let me let me be honest with you guys, it does not work all the time. I don't know, maybe the iOS version works better. Uh, I've seen it work, but, but, but uh, it's rare because it works with only a very particular version of the game usually. And you might not have that one, so I would say modded game files are better than Xmod games, but it's just, it's another thing that you can do. And then also uh, root explorer, I mean not root explorer, but file managers in general, you'll probably also need a jailbreak for that on iOS, will allow you to find game save files if they exist and mod them, okay? Also game uh, system files, for example, a price list, let's say, uh, would allow you to mod the prices in a game and so on and the starting money and all that in certain cases. So having a file manager is also very useful if you're trying to hack a game and you're desperate, okay? It's like the last thing that I would try when nothing else works, but yeah. Essentially, those are the cheats that there are for iOS at the moment. At the moment, as always, uh, if you're looking for cheats for iOS, I'd recommend go to hackerbat.net, go to find legitimate cheats, and type whatever you're looking for. You'll be able to s s skip over all the scams, the fake generators, the whatever, the, <laughs> the spam that you'll find in Google at this point when it comes to finding modded games and cheats for mobile games in general and you'll be able to find actual mods, actual cheats, actual tutorials instead of all the scams. Alright guys, thanks you guys for watching, I hope this helps. Maybe in the future I will get myself an iOS device and some kind of recording setup, uh, but I'm not sure about that yet. It really depends on how much demand there is. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.